I'm Rosie from the T-Shirt Issue, an art collective from Berlin consisting of two more people, which is Murat Kojikit and Handa Akchaili. The T-Shirt Issue started six years ago out of a curiosity of what would happen when we expose pattern making to digital tools. So these digital tools have helped a lot of disciplines go forward, like industrial design, product design, animation, you name it. Pattern making, clothing hadn't been, so we decided to explore that area. The pattern construction itself is something that has been developed, and when we started working with animation programs and all these different softwares, we understood the possibilities. It broke open the door to digital sculpting of clothing, which was great and had been done before. We've been invited by the VNA to do a six-month residency, the digital design residency, which we're close to finalizing uh, for London Design Festival. As soon as we got here, there's an overload of amazing work. So we went around the museum looking at the sculptures and any 3D object, really. A couple of years ago, it was very hard to actually get a hold of a nice 3D scan, but we've come to this point that we have the luxury of a handheld tiny device that we can take with us and go around the museum and scan every piece that we want. Having the digital data of all these beautiful pieces just allows you to manipulate the data in any way imaginable, so you can combine things that you wouldn't be able to combine before. For us, the most interesting thing was combining a lot of human bodies with animal heads, and we decided to go with eight pieces uh, that we're going to digitally merge into four hybrids, consisting of four human bodies and four animal heads. So the next step would be the paper prototyping. We use the paper prototypes to sort of easily and quickly see if what we see on our screen actually works in real life as well. Our pattern making process lets go of the traditional pattern making process by means of us starting in the 3D realm, by 3D scanning things, uh, modeling them, and then bringing them back to 2D patterns to flatten them out and ultimately creating 3D pieces once again. So we go from very digital to a very analog world, which is the exact opposite of what people normally do when it comes to pattern making. When you get a mixed scan of an object, you end up having somewhere between 10 and 20,000 polygons. Our aim is to make something that is capable of sewing back together, so we try to reduce everything to back to 1,000 polygons. For the four final pieces, we laser cut about 180 sheets, which is about 4,000 triangles that we avoided doing by hand. We collected around 180 sheets, about 4,000 polygons, and now they have to be sewn back together. This is a very hardcore production. <laughs> when we came here, it was clear to us that we would actually make an, an end installation consisting of jersey pieces, which is our favorite material to use to make the technology behind it look softer and more approachable to people. The stiffening interface that we use to keep our fabric stiff. In order for it to look like an actual sculpture, it has to be stiff. We use a special interface for that. So when you transfer the interface onto fabric, it looks like a collection of very abstract pieces. As soon as you start sewing things together by hand, slowly, 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 things start to have a shape all of a sudden. The, the four end pieces, they work together in an insulation. And the insulation is called Dreamland, celebrating Edgar Allan Poe's poem, Dreamland. We'll be showing this in the Norfolk House Music Room uh, together, they kind of create this little scene, a little murder scene, or it looks like it. It's a bit eerie. It's a very beautiful combination of a lot of digital work and a lot of hand work. Uh, the end pieces, they look very technological, but you can actually so see as soon as you zoom in, like there's a lot of work that, that went into it, a lot of hand work, a lot of craft. We were uh, very excited to actually work with playing around with the pieces and playing with that, with that notion of being able to interfere with history and interfere with pieces that have been made and combine them together to create a very modern and current and relevant piece for, for the VNA. I come like from a fashion background which I never felt connected to. I think when we came together as a collective coming from different backgrounds that was very good. Every part of the t-shirt issue just added a bit. The experience has been really, really great and we're very happy that everybody is so happy.